Okay, hello everyone. Today we're looking at question nine of exercise 10E in the applied book one textbook for Edexcel A level mathematics. And I've just got here the diagram for the question which we're looking at for question nine, part A and part B. It tells us you've got a 900 kilogram car over here pulling a 300 kilogram trailer by a light tow bar. The car is producing a driving force of 1200 newtons and there is resistance to motion of 200 and 100 newtons on each of the two vehicles. Now, the car has weight of 900 G, the trailer has weight of 300 G and because they're on a road which is flat, there is a reaction force here for the car which is actually equivalent to the 900 G and the reaction of the trailer is also equivalent to the 300G. Now, most people I think were okay with part A and part B, but I'm still gonna work through it. The question says to show that the acceleration of the car and trailer, i.e. the whole system, is equal to 0 0.75 meters per second squared. For this, we need to do F equals MA on the whole system, to the right, now the system is accelerating to the right, so we do need our double arrow in that direction. And if we look at this scenario, the net force to the right is our 1200 plus the tension and then minus the tension, these tensions are gonna cancel out, minus the 200, minus the 100, and the collective mass of the system is 1200 times by a now if we work this out 1200 these cancel out minus 200 is a thousand minus 100 is 900 900 is equal to 1200 a so a is equal to this divided by this which is 0 0.75 meters per second squared so part a there is done, finding the acceleration of the system. Part B is always the follow-up to find the magnitude of the tension in the tow bar. And to do this, we need to do F equals MA on one of the systems instead. I am just gonna do this on the trailer because there are less forces to deal with. So F equals MA on the trailer to the right forward force here is t the negative force is 100 that's t minus 100 is equal to 300 times by 0 0.75 that gives us t minus 100 is equal to 225 and therefore t is equal to 325 newtons and that's part A and part B. As I said, most people are generally fine with that. The difference is in part C, which is where this system comes across a red light and then begins to break. Now, some people that have followed exam solutions or other solution websites may have seen a different diagram. And I'm gonna bring it to that momentarily. So I'm gonna put this to the right-hand side. I'm going to bring in our new diagram. Now, all I've got here at the moment is the weights of the two vehicles along with the resistance forces. And then we've still got these reaction forces at the top, so the reaction of the trailer and the reaction of the car. So reaction of the car up here. But there is a difference in this question because now the car is going to start braking, which means there is a braking force over here inside the engine of a value F. Now, in our previous example, we saw quite clearly that this trailer was being pulled forward and this 
car was getting resistance from behind. Now, if you think about something moving forwards, and I push this, and that things are moving forwards, and then this wants to stop. So my car here wants to stop. The trailer actually wants to keep going. What it does is it pushes forward into that car. So what happens in this case is where we had the tension over here providing resistance, this trailer is now pushing forwards into the car because the trailer wants to keep going, but the car is stopping it because it's braking. Now, in the same way, if I was, if I'm trying to stop and this wants to keep going forward, it can't, it's getting pushed back by the car. So the trailer is now feeling a force in the other direction, which is stopping it from moving forwards. This only occurs when you have a tow bar and the system is braking. Very, very key. It doesn't happen in many questions. It's normally there to catch people out. But what's happened here is that the trailer wants to keep going, so it's pushing into the car. So the tension here or the thrust here is switched direction. And the car is preventing the trailer from moving forward, so it's pushing back on it. So these two T values have now switched places. We're told in the question the T values are actually equal to 100 newtons each. And we will come to that in a second. Now, we know this is a car that is braking, which means it will be decelerating, which actually means the acceleration in this direction will be negative. So A will be a negative value and we're still going to do f equals ma to the right because we always do f equals ma in the direction of motion so if we apply f equals ma to this whole system though we are going to get two unknowns we're going to get f and a we're better off doing f equals ma just on the trailer to the right to eliminate or to try and negate have as few unknowns as possible. So this is F equals MA on the trailer. Going to the right, the forces here are minus T minus 100 is equal to 300 times by A. T we know is 100. So minus 100 minus 100 equals to 300 A. Therefore, A is minus 100 minus 200 divided by 300 minus 200 over 300 is very simply equal to minus two thirds or minus 0 0.667. Either of those are okay. So that is enable us to work out the acceleration. We now need to work out the value of F. So if we do F equals MA on the whole system, so F equals MA on the whole system. System to the right, we are going to get minus F, minus T plus T. So again, these two are going to cancel out. Minus T plus T, minus 200, minus 100 is equal to the collective mass, which is 1200 times by the acceleration which is minus two thirds. We work this out, we get minus F minus 300 is equal to two thirds of 1200 is 800, that is minus 800. If we take the F to the right hand side, it becomes positive. And if we bring the 800 to the left hand side, it also becomes positive, meaning 800 minus 300 is 500. Newtons. So the value of F, the braking force in this case, was equal to 500 Newtons. So we can see here, key difference is that when something is being pulled, the trailer is pulled forward and the car feels resistance from behind. If something is braking, this vehicle wants to keep going forward, so it pushes forward into the car whereas this one feels resistance from the car not letting it move forward. I hope that's made sense. If it hasn't, 
please comment below or please let me know.